With the referendum result overwhelmingly in favour of Catalonia breaking away, those who want Spain to remain united are becoming fearful. What they've done is divide Catalan society. They've divided families and marriages. To explore the fault lines, I head to meet Catalan artist Romulo Bosch. Getting ready for war. No stranger to controversy with his politically charged photos, but he says rising intolerance is forcing him, for once, to keep his anti-secession opinions to himself. If you're not with them, you're with Franco. That's how radicalized they got. I mean, that's scary stuff. That, it is a scary, and it's going to get worse. I think the fracture that these elections cause, it's irreversible as long as we have the same players ruling the country. Bosch believes repression of the Catalan language and culture under General Franco's dictatorship, which ended in the mid-1970s, may have fueled the independent spirit. Yet that doesn't change his mind. I'm not here to revenge my grandfather. I got my own life. I'm looking to the future. I love people from Madrid. I got better friends in Madrid. So everything that my fa grandfather was telling me, it doesn't match my reality. That's what it is. Times have changed. I'm not going to revenge. Times have changed a lot. Across town, I head to a social club for men like retired farm worker Daniel Cabanero. He migrated here from the neighboring Aragon region in the 1950s, but feels strong loyalty to the rest of the country. Catalonia's vibrant economy has drawn several million workers from poorer corners of Spain and abroad. They will never have independence. Catalonia is a province of Spain and always will be. That's how it should be. The people behind this referendum must be half crazy. They'll never achieve it. But Catalan leaders are determined to try, a bid that seems destined to deepen wounds between neighbours and friends. Carl Penhall, Al Jazeera, Barcelona, Spain.